Welcome to Grammar Trails. In this segment, we are going to look at the seven coordinating conjunctions and the sixth comma rule. Coordinating conjunctions connect ideas of equal emphasis. So remember, as a writer, when you use a coordinating conjunction, you're telling your reader that the ideas on both sides of the coordinating conjunction are equally important. There are seven coordinating conjunctions, and you must remember all seven of them. The easiest way to do this is to consider the acronym FANBOYS. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Before we go on and look at rule number six, let's quickly review rule number one. Rule number one states, if we have a sentence, a coordinating conjunction, FANBOYS, and another sentence, we must, by rule, have a comma before the coordinating conjunction. Rule number six is a simple variation on rule number one. It states, if we have a sentence that includes a comma already in it, followed by a coordinating conjunction, followed by another complete sentence, then we must now include a semicolon before the coordinating conjunction. So in other words, if we have a coordinating conjunction with a complete sentence on each side, and one of those sentences already has a comma in it, we're going to use a semicolon before the coordinating conjunction instead of a comma. Let's look at a couple of examples. Gaia, who emerged before time, gave birth to Uranus, but Gaia came to hate him for his crimes. First identify the coordinating conjunction. Good, it is but. Now let's see if we have a complete sentence before but. Gaia, who emerged before time, gave birth to Uranus. Is that a complete sentence? Let's see, who is doing this? Gaia, and what is Gaia doing? Giving, very good. So we answer the two questions needed to determine whether we have a complete sentence. Who is doing it? And what is he doing? Now let's see if we have a complete sentence after the coordinating conjunction. Gaia came to hate him for his crimes. Who is doing this? Gaia. And what is she doing? Coming. Gaia came to hate him for his crimes. So we have a complete sentence, a coordinated conjunction, and a complete sentence. However, notice we already have a comma in the first sentence. Gaia, comma, who emerged before time, comma. Therefore, according to the rule, we're going to place a semicolon before the coordinating conjunction. Let's go on and look at another example. Cronus, as requested by his mother, killed his father. Yet, Cronus himself became a tyrant. Let's go through the process. Do we have a coordinating conjunction in this sentence? Yet, very good. Do we have a complete sentence before yet? Cronus, as requested by his mother, killed his father. Who is doing this? Cronus. What is Cronus doing? Killing. Very good. So we have a complete sentence. Do we have a complete sentence after the coordinating conjunction? Cronus himself became a tyrant. Who is doing this? Cronus. And what is Cronus doing? Becoming. Who is doing it and what is he doing? If we can answer both of those questions, you know we have a complete sentence. So here we do have a complete sentence, a coordinated conjunction, and a complete sentence. According to rule number one, we would place a comma before the coordinated conjunction. However, since we already have commas in the first sentence, we're going to use a semicolon before the coordinating conjunction. So let's look again at rule number six. Rule number six states, if you have a complete sentence that already has a comma in it, a coordinating conjunction, and another complete sentence, then we must use a semicolon before the coordinating conjunction. Keep in mind that the sentence with the comma in it could happen before the coordinating conjunction or it could happen after the coordinating conjunction. And we'll look at an example like that coming up. Cronus believed that his children would kill him. So Cronus ate Demeter, Hera, and Poseidon. 
Let's go through our process. Is there a coordinate conjunction in this sentence? Yes, the coordinate conjunction is so. Now remember, so is only a coordinate conjunction when you can substitute the word therefore, but cannot substitute in order that. In other words, Cronus believed that his children would kill him. Therefore, Cronus ate Demeter, Hera, and Poseidon. Now let's see if we can substitute in order. Cronus believed that his children would kill him in order that Cronus ate Demeter, Hera, and Poseidon. Substituting in order that does not work, and therefore, so is a coordinating conjunction. Cronus believed that his children would kill him. Is this a complete sentence? Who is doing it? Cronus. And what is Cronus doing? Believing. That is a complete sentence. Cronus ate Demeter, Hera, and Poseidon. Is this a complete sentence? Who is doing it? Cronus. What is Cronus doing? Eating. This is a complete sentence. Notice now we have commas in the second sentence already. So what are we going to place before the coordinated conjunction so? Yes, a semicolon. Very good. Let's look at our last example. Rhea, hidden on Crete, gave birth to Zeus, but she tricked Cronus into thinking he had eaten his son. Coordinated conjunction? But. Do we have a complete sentence before it? Rhea, hidden on Crete, gave birth to Zeus. Who's doing this? Rhea. What is she doing? Giving. Giving birth. That is a complete sentence. How about after? She tricked Cronus into thinking he had eaten his son. Who's doing this? She is. And what is she doing? Tricking. So we do have a complete sentence after. But what do you notice? Very good. There are already commas in the first sentence. So therefore, what do we need to place before the coordinating conjunction? A semicolon. Excellent. Let's review rule number six. It states, if you have a complete sentence that already includes commas in it, followed by a coordinating conjunction, followed by another complete sentence, then we are going to use, according to the rule, a semicolon before the coordinating conjunction. And remember, there are seven coordinating conjunctions, and you have to memorize all seven of them. The easiest way to do this is to consider the acronym FANBOYS. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Thank you for watching this segment of Grammar Trails.